Oh, I wish I could, you guys could smell these beautiful flowers on these uh, ornamental crab apple trees that are growing in the backyard. They're so sweet. They're so awesome right now. I just needed a couple minutes of your time as an introduction to the um, June readings for all signs. It's my pleasure to bring them to you once again. I hope you enjoy them. But I had to throw in a little just disclaimer saying that, yeah, the readings are for entertainment purposes only. If you have situations, maybe you need to go see a doctor uh, of some fashion. This is not to be taken as medical advice. This is to be used for entertainment purposes. So as the channel description says, uh, be enlightened, be entertained, but most of all, be yourself. If you are needing a little bit of extra helping hand, please go and seek professional assistance from somebody that can get you to a place where you're feeling good and strong and as beautiful as these crab apple trees are. Okay, thanks guys. Enjoy your readings. Hold me closer, tiny cancer. Come and have your June general tarot reading. I don't do a very good impression of that song. But, cancer, this is your June general reading. I want to thank you for joining me here this moment in space and time at this little channel. we got flippers, as always. I just have to say your names, and it comes out. King of Swords, Page of Wands. Ten of Cups. Okay, so I feel that this could be some uh, parents and children's uh, here. There could be some energies of children returning home from college uh, with good news in hand. This is uh, and sound advice being given to children. Good direction, good help. Uh, and maybe for some of you, this could be an indication of challenges in the home, but I don't think so. For a select few, it could be some subtle differences. Maybe some uh, older children returning home after a time away at college or somewhere else, challenging the ideas uh, of some older members of the family or things like that. Not maybe challenging isn't the right word, but it could be some like really cool discussions going on between you know parents and kids, uh, especially surrounding cancer. And you know what that means? That means talking about your feelings. This is your cancer. Somebody's a cancer. You're checking this out for cancer. Sun, moon, ascendant, uh, or a friend in cancer, right? We want to know, Tarot, what are the messages? What are the healing energies? And what are the hidden and stuck energies uh, that we can help reveal for cancer for June 2017? Again, June 2017 for cancer. There, I think we got it going on. Cancer, how have you all been? I want to wish you the best in terms of your abundance your your pro, uh, pro productivity uh, I don't know why I want to say produce yeah maybe I'm feeling like a vegetable but uh, you guys I just want to wish you I hope you're all eating healthily uh, and things like that the best of health well-being that's my favorite part of the reading is to wish you well please set your intention for the reading and let's look at the overall energy at the bottom of the deck number five major hierophant so some of you yes I feel are going to be in a position where you are helping um younger people you are helping people with your understanding it's almost as if like i see you as like a wise sage almost cancer somebody that's gone through the gambit of feeling good you know good times bad times you know i've had my share right and people realizing that about you and maybe coming to you uh throughout this early part of june saying you know what I've never encountered this before in my life. Can I? Can you, can you listen to my situation? I almost have a feeling that people are going to want you to be like a trusted friend, a, you know, a strong listening ear. Um, for a lot of cancers, this can be relevant. For some of you, you may be looking at like June weddings, whether you're attending them, whether you're getting married yourself, someone that you're close to could be getting married, um, and that sort of energy, which is really good. Um, to see the Hierophant up here as well. Some of you are just really feeling in the season. You know it's time to enjoy the long days. It's time to enjoy those sunsets uh, in the best way that you know how. Only you can treat yourself to perfection in the moment almost is what the Hierophant is saying to me. He's like, um, you know, if if what it takes for you is that special spot along the coast or at the lake, on the beach, or on the side of a rock where you know the sun's going to go down, you know, towards the solstice type energy and you got your spot picked out and only you know that, you know, maybe you take 
um, you know, just the right person with you to show them that or whatever it might be. It's, this is a card I feel of like really treating to yourself to the things that you've perfected and you know in your own understanding, okay? With Hierophant there. He's going to be looking over. I feel like a lot of cancers are going to have some divine protection. We've got, oh my God, we had, oh my goodness, just like that wasn't earthquake. That was me just being a bumbling bum. We were like knocked over everything, okay? So... Hopefully none of you are in like a major tremor or maybe that's just a metaphor for things that are coming that are really going to shake things up and get things uh, moving. All right. But protection. I was talking about divine protection through angels and spirit guides uh, that I believe will be there for you. If you are feeling down and out, it's time to rely on our institutions of faith, the things that can bring us back to uh, feeling safe and secure within ourselves so that um, we're not losing too much sleep, we're not losing too much energy uh, through dealing with you know the day-to-day -day life type stuff. Speaking of day-to-day -day life stuff, we've got Seven of Swords reversed up in the overall energy. So some of you Cancers may have been investigating... Um, kind of outrightly like had your eye on somebody or observing a situation to find out about the truth of a matter and it looks as though you've done so it looks as though your diligence has paid off if somebody had been up to no good or maybe had been sneaking around or somebody may you've been feeling like you weren't sure how how far to trust them or you were maybe hoping to protect somebody else from somebody that you knew was maybe a bit narcissistic it, it's almost like now you're in a position to say something that you've you have enough knowledge to have come through that and to know that seven of swords reverse can also be the ending of a difficult situation it can also kind of like mean like okay the battle's over the fight is over we're just going to kind of um see where we're at now see what we've lost see what we've what new knowledge we've gained and we're going to move forward the Seven of Swords Reverse is much better than if it was to be straight up. This is where I would have to warn people to protect themselves. This energy here with it being reversed, it says, now that you're in the knowledge, you maybe know who a culprit is. You maybe know that your hunches are correct. And you maybe know that, you know, whatever it is in your mind is no longer a suspicion. You may have some bona fide proof of certain things, right? And the Hierophant speaks clearly of that when we see that. So in your day-to-day -day living, I see you guys just kind of being really on point with your five senses. You're almost like being very keen investigators and in sort of like um, maybe it could be more subliminal things. You know what's up with, you know, the song and dance that maybe somebody's trying to sell you something where you just see through it. Everything is kind of transparent for you. You're having a very easy time seeing like there's no... Um, there's no mystery in, in whatever it is the sugarcoating people are trying to put on crap for you. You're just seeing right through it is the feeling I have cancer. And this could come in all things, right? When it comes to the mind, uh, it's almost like you, you're you not going to be tricked. No one's going to get you off your game. And you're just going to be a two weeks of like moving through the paces, going through the paces and staying in your power. So it's really, it's really good and encouraging to see that there, uh, Cancer. I just want to make sure that like you guys, hopefully we don't see the, we haven't seen the end of like mm, too many important friendships. For some of you, that may be the case. Maybe some of you would be at the thing where it's like, uh, you might have like had the call off a friendship with somebody based on something that they had done or some sort of like triangulated thing that had gone on where people were accusing each other. And this is all I feel has already happened in the past, but now it's just kind of like stepping out of that could be tricky because you know, you might have, it might be affecting you. Right. So what do we got here? This marriage is up again for some of you coming in here. This is really, some of you may just be feeling like that you're, uh, you could be getting engaged or that somebody could be proposing to you. Uh, doesn't always mean marriage. This could proposal could be a proposal to like move away, even to elope, to go on vacation unexpectedly with somebody, something that's going to draw you closer. It could, for some of you, it could mean marriage, right? But because it's up with this card here, the feeling I have is that somebody is like, now they're sure, now they're sure whether it's you being sure about somebody else or somebody being, it's, it's funny how quickly this turns into a love reading, um, or other people being sure of you, like, this is the one, this is, I want to sh propose something to this person to help, and I see it involving travel, so somebody could be eloping, right, 
is the feeling I have with Seven of Swords and all this Hierophant and these cards up here. Somebody could definitely be eloping or somebody could just be inviting you on a trip, a romantic uh, getaway, so to speak, okay? That's what we got up there. I don't know. The cards just come the way they want to come. And for Cancer, it's all love is where we start, right? Now, Sacral Energy, Three of Pentacles reversed. Now, what's going on here, guys? You having trouble paying attention to detail? I see you guys being good investigators, yet where is the attention to detail that we're doing? Maybe some of you are caught up in sort of your um, relationships and maybe you are having a little bit of trouble focusing in the workplace. Some of you may um, just kind of be letting things like work slide a little bit. Whereas like when that work buzzer rings and you punch out, then you can race home and you can like, uh, or maybe some of you are just like sort of texting a lot while you're on the clock and, you know, maybe checking social media a lot while you're at work. And maybe the boss is looking over your shoulder every once in a while. You get kind of worried about that sort of thing, right? Um, and for some of you, this person that you may be falling for, you could it could be like business and, and pleasure kind of overlapping. Maybe for some select few, you could be like going to a trade show or a conference that's work related. The proposal will come for you to travel with somebody that you are attracted to or that you kind of been flirting with at the office for a long time. And this weekend may have the potential, well, the we whatever time period is coming up may have the ten potential to really bubble over and be the start of something something new or kind of like a, uh, a office love affair, right? So sort of thing, three of pentacles reversed. But somebody's not focused, somebody is not paying attention and somebody is kind of like um, following their heart when they need to be paying attention to work. So if this is you, Cancer, is saying just kind of watch your back. Just make sure that you're meeting your deadlines at work so that you do have time to go out and play, that you do have time to, you know, maybe be staying up till 1 a.m. doing doing uh making whoopee right and then you're okay to go to work at eight o'clock the next day you're not too tired that kind of thing okay three of pentacles reversed all right moving on high priestess reverse okay so yeah for those of you following that plot line of somebody's uh getting called out somebody is the the truth is being the veil is being lifted and the truth is coming out about somebody or a situation that is surrounding cancer now, the message is going to come kind of fast and forthright. I'm not sure if you were the one that sort of brought to light or blew the whistle on this. Or for, for some of you, you may have been the person that the whistle might have got blown on, right? I'm not sure what that's all about. But whatever this is saying, that uh, it's almost like, um, I can't even think of an analogy. This is kind of out of my repertoire for things that this could be like, um, you know, maybe somebody uh was dipping into petty cash at work right and somebody else knew about it and then uh somebody else was suspicious and then they came and asked you about it and you're like well maybe they did or maybe they didn't you didn't you didn't want to be a snitch right but at the same time you knew that you didn't want to be guilty by association but it just kind of has that feeling of like kind of underhandedness and secrecy around it's something very clandestine that is now coming to light and the larger group is going to be aware of it, right? So, as well, uh, this being up in your gut instinct, some of you may be waiting on a proposal here and now. Some of you may be waiting on it, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, like, yeah, it's a mystery, Is it? and you will get a clear indication as to the certainty of whether or not that proposal or that commitment is going to come uh, from your partner uh, in the early part of June. There'll just be certain signs that you're waking up to to be like, maybe he doesn't need to get on his knee and give you a ring. Maybe just by the fact that, or he or she, I'm sorry, I always call people out for not making these, you know, but certainty that your partner um, is ready for the next step in the relationship. Or maybe some of you are waiting that I love you will eventually come and you just kind of feel it in your gut and you're waiting to like sort of embrace those sort of energies and you're not really sure uh, how you're feeling about it, but you'll be ready for it when it does come, all right? Just going to ask for some quick clarifiers of why High Priestess is up there 
reversed in gut instinct, right? So when she's upside down, I have a feeling like she wants to get something out. She There is a message that needs to be told, right? And usually, they're like, I didn't see it very serious, but now that she's up here, it could be more than just petty cash for some of you. Could be worried, losing a little bit of sleep at night because you know something about someone that, you know, you're just very worried for somebody else, right? Yeah, and it could, like, involve the law. It could involve, the, you know... Um, some of you may be bearing witness to to something at for at some point in time, right? Uh, that's coming up because the justice card is here with the high priestess reverse saying you or somebody knows something about you that is going to close the book on somebody else's sup suspicions or or uh, a, a guilt versus innocence type situation. If we look at it in the mundane world, right? That's what it is: guilt and innocence, right? So. Be very careful for some cancers here to what level you are involved. And if you have knowledge or truth that is going to uh, wave you of a situation, maybe you're going to be forced to get that kind of information out. Okay, moving on. This is wild energy. We got a bit of love. We got a little mystery. We got a little intrigue, maybe a little, you know, underhandedness. So what is all going on here? We'll keep moving through it and see what we have in the heart. We have strength reversed. Okay, now... The strength to do for to take right action sometimes is a big test from the universe, from source. Sometimes source will say, okay, you're in the predicament, you're in the bind, you're in the pickle, the proverbial pickle, you're in the pickle, right? Your heart's there, you don't know, you don't know what to do. You, maybe your loyalties are being divided at this time, Cancer. Are you loyal to uh, company versus this person, or are you loyal to person A over person B? You know, because we do have this three up here, right? We do have this fact that maybe like work is being um, shirked or, or maybe, you know, somebody is like, uh, maybe somebody's doing a lot of delegating and they're not towing their weight at work, right? And then uh, everybody knows that they're just like, um, you know, they're they're faking it, right? With a, something like that. Um, but this, this question with strength reversed up in heart of hearts asks like, where are your loyalties? And do you have the strength to stand by your convictions? If you've been in a situation where you've been telling two different people two different stories just to sort of maybe keep the peace, something may be coming along to challenge that, to force it out, to say, okay, well, no, somebody is clearly in the wrong and, you know, everybody is going to, you know, nobody's going to be able to hide it anymore, whatever it is that they're feeling towards that, okay? So again, just like this is more clarifiers coming here. So with strength and heart of hearts, like the fact that it's reversed, some of you may just need to take a deep breath and say to yourself, you know what, I got to do what I got to do. At the end of the day, if you've got children to feed, remember we had those cards of family out beforehand, like we saw those messages being given to like kids versus, um, you know, parents and people that have been through the situation before helping others. This all could be somebody coming to you with this kind of problem for a few cancers, I feel, right? Because it's a general ass reading, right? What you got to know is like this kind of kind of hit you. It doesn't have to hit you directly. It could definitely hit you indirectly in some, some facet, maybe a child uh, or somebody that you care about is going to come to you and uh, for this sort of level of advice right will you have the strength to to take right action to do what's right that sort of thing okay because yeah if it's family right that's it's going to be rather difficult it's going to be you want to do your best by by your family what i was getting at and here, speaking of family we have the card of home up here right if you've got mouths to feed, if you have a house that you need to keep in order and you are feeling divided about something that could cost you your job, something that could cost you loyalties, uh, this card is saying you want to put your home, your family, your everything that you hold dear and sacred for on the long term, you want to put that first. If and if that's the strength that you need, if that's where the type of thinking you need to get into to remember your inner strength in making this, de whatever decision this is that has to be made or doing, taking right action, doing what you have to do, you have to think, all right, is it worth risking my home, losing my home, um, compromising my home? Because maybe I just don't want to face the music, perhaps. Maybe I just don't want to, like, somebody, you know, to get fired or whatever it might be, right? That kind of situation. So, home is where the heart is. Heart is where the home is. Have the inner strength to know, Cancer, that what's important to you, it's almost like write it down if you have to. Prioritize. 
A lot of you won't have to. You know who's important to you in your life. And use that as your talisman. Use that as your strength. If you're finding on the day-to-day level that you don't maybe have the strength to put up with somebody that's being a bit underhanded uh, and you're just kind of like, well, I don't know what to do. Maybe what it is is you have to like take that deep breath and say like, I'm, I'm taking this one for the team. This is the home front, right? This is what we're doing. Now, for some of you, maybe the situation is is there could be some money situations surrounding college, and there could this could be an older child that's not doing so well at school, and you're just wondering, well, is this kind of worth the investment? And maybe this child uh, is coming home from college, and they're not telling you that uh, maybe their grades are not as good as they are, right? Or maybe they didn't go to class for half of the last semester. I mean, maybe you're going to kind of have to get that information out of them. I don't know. It could be so many different things for so many people, but these are just kind of the things that I'm relating it back to, okay? Wow. So up in the field of communication, we got the star, right? Now, uh, I'm not going to quote Walt Disney. I really want to, right? When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. I'm not going to sing the whole thing, but you get the gist, right? It is long-range fantasy. It is seeing your life before you and seeing it in a light that you would like to be immersed in. Star energy is like, if you've ever gone to like a hot springs and you like first sit in there and you feel like the mineral water, the warm mineral water come up over your shoulders and you just can like feel everything sort of just like letting go at once. That's what star energy and communication has. The minute Pandora's box is open, the minute somebody recognizes or acknowledges the elephant in the room and says something, this is the moment where everything gets easier. Everything begins to flow like a river. Everything begins like there may be tears. Yes, there may be a ah, scream. There may be this, that, the other thing. But recognize that that is the moment when it becomes easier because it's in the light now. Once you can see it, you can address it. And once it's once it's no longer hidden and once you now know what it is, you can take the appropriate actions, say the appropriate words. Maybe you're just needing to remind somebody that, hey, um, I'm behind you. I'm with you all the way. But you need to get right because it's going to be hard for me to to encourage you to stay behind you if if you're not right in this situation, right? Tell me about your goals. Tell me about your dreams. Tell me where you see yourself in five years. Some of you may be in a management position. You're just dealing with some really unruly younger kind of like workers that, you know, are just, you know, all out of control, right? You may be having to ask, dig deep. We had these this investigator energy and it's here again, I feel. You're kind of like digging deep and asking the important questions to like kind of like withdraw and pull truth out of people that are important to you so that you are in a position to help them because they'll be coming to you for help but they'll only be giving you half the friggin story and you're going to be like well nothing i can do with that right so that's what's going on with star card up in the throat chakra in communication as well address it right anything let's get a little bit look at the bigger picture here a little bit as well with this star card um Communicate, communicate, communicate. If some of you are traveling to work conferences, if some of you are looking at uh, getting this um, uh, proposal, wedding plans, things like this, the star is just saying, don't hold back when it comes to your communications. If you want your wedding today to be perfect, and we saw this earlier, right? Remember when we said, okay, well, we, we've got our spot picked where we want to watch um, the sunset, where we want to spend our nice warm summer nights. We, we know exactly what that moment looks like. For some of you, this could be the wedding. This could be your wedding day of you guys. Don't hold back. If, if money is a concern or if you're worried about the mother and the future mother-in-law or the father-in-law not liking a bird of paradise or a particular color of hydrangea, you know, that's not, that's not your issue. You pick the, you set that day up and the most beautiful way that you want to see it uh, picked for you and your partner, right? All right. And if you are a gentleman uh, reaching out and tuning into these readings, I'd say like, this is very important on the sort of the female side of things to really acknowledge that your partner, like men can go through their wedding day and be that strong, be that sturdy, be that some of the, you'll still break down. But you know, when it comes to the details, when it comes to the planning, maybe 
uh, you can be a little bit more helpful in terms of uh, go ahead, propose, get the, do it traditionally. If you're trying to figure out how to do it, you know, go ahead and do it. And if you're a lady, you know, it's 2017, you can propose too, right? It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to like be a particular way. You just go ahead, you clear the air, you get it done. And if you are in the process where that's already occurred and now you're making wedding plans, all right, gentlemen, I want to let you know, like, let's really take into uh, account our partner's uh, considerations um, and just make it the best possible day that uh, you can for them. Okay. I don't know. It's love reading. There's marriage. There's there's some interesting stuff going on. It's general reading for cancer. So like about five different plot lines going on. And I'm just confused and lost, which is probably where I should be as a good tarot reader. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Back to you, Cancer. Six of Swords up in the reversal. And this is in the pineal gland. This is in the uh, third eye chakra. So maybe some of you are having a bit of a tough time seeing it. Maybe some of you are trapped and saying, well, I visioned it this way. And some of you are really not being very flexible, not being very willing to work with others. Not saying it's you, Cancer. You could still be just dealing with somebody that's very difficult to work with, difficult to to uh, have be adaptable for your sake. And this is why this star up in communication is going to be like, this is going to be like, okay, after we've talked to the kids, now maybe mom and dad need to have a talk, you know, behind closed doors about what the hell are we going to do about young Jenny or Johnny, you know, really dropping the ball. It's something they were trusted with, right? It kind of, it could be that kind of energy. Again, with Six of Swords, this is kind of like mm, very tough problem solving very tricky problems that are upon your lap at this point in time. Uh, some of you may be questioning whether or not you are compatible with um, a situation that's about to unfold. And what I mean by that is like, you may be on the precipice of something that is about to occur that you're going to have to commit to or pull back from. And this could be like, an entrepreneurial endeavor. This could be um, pertaining back to this marriage. Some of you could be having the proverbial, was it cold feet or wet feet? I've never been married. Sorry, guys, I don't know. Cold feet? Yeah, I think runaway bride. That kind of energy, is. there's potential for that as well. So I don't know what's going on with some of you guys. I wish that you were a little bit better grounded. But it is what it is, right? You'll have to take it as it comes sort of thing. So at night, what I would say is like, if you're really worried about this kind of stuff and you're thinking about this kind of stuff, make a worst case scenario list. This is one of the healthiest things you could actually do is you get, draw out on paper like what is the actual worst and it can be scary. It's freaky to get into, right? But you, you write it down. You say, this is the situation at present hand. What is the worst possible thing that could happen, right? And then you work your way back. Okay, well, what can we do to prevent that worst case scenario from happening, then what's the next one? And you work your way back to realizing, okay, maybe we don't have to give this problem as much power. Maybe the answer is a simple paradigm shift, a way of thinking, a kind word, a kind acknowledgement, something that can turn the turn the dime, turn the page on, on this particular, turn the tables, sorry, on that particular situation so that it doesn't have add the potentiality to become as bad as, you know, what our initial fear might have been in regards to it, right? Because seven of swords reversed, six of swords reversed, all of these like strength, a lot of them coming out here. And with the Hierophant saying there could be some cancers that are battling some initial worry, some initial fear. I don't like to talk about fear in my readings, but you know what? I'm not a sugarcoating reader. Fear exists as the opposite of love. And it exists in the mind when we have these swords, six and seven reversed like this. It has the potential to enter in there. But we need to have the tools and the techniques in our conscious mind to be able to nip fear in the butt and say... Our love conquers it. When we when we look at what is important to us, when we look at the people we love and we have their best interests at heart, it really can just come down to a simple shift of thinking that says, all right, we don't want to work ourselves into a tizzy, but maybe we can just relax and sleep on it one night. The answer will come to us in the morning, okay? Wow. And Wheel of Fortune up here reversed. Somebody may just be changing careers, vocations, uh, majors, if you're in college, uh, all together. You might just be deciding something is just not right for me. And as well, this could be um, partnerships as well. Some of you may be saying, well, uh, is is 
domestic life is having babies with this person what I truly want um, is being married what I truly want do I want to go travel the world do uh, you know and for some of your youngers that are out there um, you're just saying well maybe I don't maybe I don't like the look of economics maybe I don't like the look of big marketing big business and maybe I want to be uh, a sculptor right or something like that but you know mom and dad are not gonna go for that and you're like well how do I bring it up to them right how do I let them know that like oh man it's just you know the last three semesters it's just not what I want to do anymore that kind of thing don't be afraid um, maybe what it is, they'll talk to them, they'll have a solution that they can help you out with that for sure, okay? So I feel like we had some big issues, and they, it could come from multiple sides, depending on who's watching it, but cancer is involved with a lot with this late spring going into early summer. So let's just take a look at the capstone here. I hope I didn't ramble on. Oh, that came quick. Spirit of Place, okay. Spirit of Place, very beautiful card. We've got these other ones too, the Wisdom of the Oracle. So everybody's getting two um, takeaway messages for this one, okay? All right, we've got Exchange of Gifts and Spirit of Place. And this really brings me back to this home card here. Something may be going on. Some of you may be experiencing some celebrations. Some of you may be feeling like um, you're just wanting to have everybody get together and really the family that you had like maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago, you're really wanting to sort of recapture that essence, recapture that moment. For some of you, maybe um, the, the excitement that's abound from coming from like, I feel this is like love coming in. There's a proposal. Somebody's giving a ring. Somebody's offering plane tickets. Um, and somebody might even just be opening up their doors to say, let's let's try living together. Let's let's this offer of maybe living together sort of thing, right? Lots of plot lines going on here. But for you, Cancer, through the first couple weeks of June, is going to be getting in touch with who's important to you, uh, showing appreciation and being understanding of other people's problems, and know that we all have a special gift to share. Um, and as well, the spirit of place, making sure that this inner strength, if we're having trouble finding it, it's got to come from this spirit of place. Where have you brought yourself to to this moment in time? Take a look around the room. Take a walk around the house. Take a walk around the yard and say, okay, um, where do we go from here? Or do we even need to go anywhere from here? Can we just be happy letting our loved ones come and go in and out of our lives through that big old front door knowing that, we are there for them with whatever moment in time they decide to come and go. Okay, Cancer, that's what I have for you. It's all over the map. Um, know that I love you all and we'll see you next time.